Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to show you how you can view two Safari windows uh, side by side in iOS 10 on your iPad. Now I'm not exactly sure uh, which iPads this will work on, Apple haven't actually specified but I'm assuming that if you've got an iPad that can uh, have two side by side windows uh, two side by side apps with iOS 9 then this feature will work for you so that's the iPad Air 2 and above it may work with the iPad Air uh, but I'm not sure about that and also the iPad mini 4 and above but anyway to do this first of all you're just going to want to open Safari and I've got four tabs here they're all uh, different sections of Apple's website and it's very simple to actually launch into the split view so all you've got to do is just tap your finger on one of the tabs at the top and literally just drag it down and you'll see it become a little uh, window over here or a small uh, sort of small bit. If I put my finger to the side of the screen, you'll see a grey section pop or a black section pops up. If I put drag that tab there and let go, that has now opened it up in the split view. So I can use both the tabs at the same time and they work just fine. So just as you'd expect. And they've each got their own set of controls if you look. So at the top of the left set of tabs I've got a back forward uh, navigation, my uh, bookmarks, I've got my search bar, my share, add tabs and uh, manage tabs button and I've got the same controls at the top of the second set of tabs on the right. Now the great thing about this is if I wanted to take this iPod tab from the view on the left to the right view to join the accessories tab I can just drag that and bring that along, choose where I want it drop it in and there you go, you'll have that uh, as another tab on that side. So again, you've got two sets of tabs now on both sides, you can change between them uh, just as you'd expect uh, to be able to do. Now, for any questions that may be coming up now about can I use this with split view, uh, you know, the side slide over and side by side multitasking uh, that's already present in iOS 9. Well, the answer to that is no, unfortunately. So I've got these two tabs open over here, and if I go into slide over, and I've got YouTube open here, if I actually go into slide over, as you can see, all the tabs get merged back into one sort of window view as you're, or you've been used to. And if I slide it out, it won't uh, change that either. So that is a, maybe a bit annoying for some people, uh, because obviously it'd be nice if you could have all those different uh, windows open at the same time, but obviously it would look a bit strange, which is probably why Apple didn't let you do that. And even on the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which I'm using now, uh, it would look quite weird, and they obviously haven't enabled that. But anyway, if I slide off, as you can see, it restores the layout that I had, so I don't lose uh, the arrangement of my tabs, that stays the same. The final thing I'm going to show you how to do now is actually merge the tabs back and how you can manage them so you can access your tab view independently across each of them so if I wanted to uh, look at all my tabs in my iCloud tabs are at the bottom uh, on my right hand side I can do that or I can do that independently on the other side so it's kind of like having two Safari windows next to each other quite literally it's not like one of them is the main window and the other one's just sort of a viewer and if at the top you would usually have this uh, icon in the top right which uh, goes to this view and that stays the same you can still use that as you've been doing in iOS 9 however it's got a bit more functionality now um, if I tap and hold on it again independently on each side I can merge all tabs so that will bring all tabs back onto one side and remove the split view I can create a new tab on uh, independently on each side and I can close every tab so that's a new feature which was, wasn't there previously. So if I just merge all tabs, it'll bring everything back into how it was before. And now I'll give I'll sort of demo one of the other features, which is close all tabs. So if I tap and hold on it, I can open split view again from here. That'll just take me to my favorites. That's quite easy. And if I want to, I can also uh, let me tap and hold on that, and I can actually close four tabs. That'll close them and bring them back to my favorites so that I can start browsing again. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. It's a very nice feature, actually. I, I have been using it quite a lot recently since I've had iOS 10. And yeah, so if you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the video comments section. You can also get in contact with me using the details that will be in the description of the video. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to see more iOS 10 videos and macOS Sierra videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.